The saga involving a controversial project in Guilford County has a new chapter tonight. The town of Summerfield says the state is again targeting land for de-annexation. It would clear the way for development of the long debated Villages of Summerfield Farms. WFMY News 2's Nixon Norman found out what happens now and looked back at how we got here. That's right, Chad. The de-annexation of nearly a thousand acres of land in Summerfield has caused quite the conversation in the small town for the past several years. That's because several Summerfield residents are reluctant to let developer David Couch build apartments and commercial developments on what the council calls the heart of Summerfield. We need to fight off the annexation. The precedent that it would set for all small towns across North Carolina is horrendous. If they can take 1,000 acres out of the heart of Summerfield, they will take all kinds of acreage out of all these beautiful small towns across North Carolina, and that's why everybody moves here. The town council called for a special meeting today in regards to Senator Phil Berger saying that he wants to continue pushing forward with the de-annexation of land in Summerfield. One of the main topics of discussion was about setting up a meeting with Senator Berger, developer Couch, and the council. There was a lot of finger pointing on who should have set up the conversation with Mayor Tim Sessoms removed as the attorney liaison on the topic in December. He says he didn't even know the council wanted to speak with Berger and Couch. I don't know how impactful that meeting can be when they're watching the way things are unfolding and the you know how our town manager has been treated. Uh, the fact that now our town attorney has resigned. Um, the public trust, as well as their trust, I think are all in question at this point. Four members of the council say that conversations with Berger and Couch should have been set up months ago. Jonathan Hamilton is the new attorney liaison. He, as well as other members, believe a compromise can be made if a conversation was had. We are looking out for some of the field and we're going to do the best we can. That's why we met here today. There's a time sensitive issue and we've got to fix it as fast as possible. The council also made a decision with a four to one vote today to hire a PR team worth tens of thousands of dollars to help campaign against de-annexation. An opposing member feels as if it's a waste of money since a decision will be made on the de-annexation of land in April.